Why is it that when you look in yourself in the mirror, you automatically see the things you don't like about yourself? In this digital age we all live in, we have become numb to our own beauty because we are always comparing ourselves to others on social media. All this Dexter talk is just putting over the edge. Even without social media, we instantly, and I really mean instantly, look at the things we deem to be unattractive. If people just looked at the unique characteristics that we all had, I think we'd be much happier as a society in general. I mean, I think the media is a huge part of it, including social media. Like you see your friends' like Facebook photos, and they're showing you their best side, and you're comparing it to like how you look day to day, and that's not very like a good comparison. Um, yeah, I think friends have a huge part of it. Self-image in our school and age group is at an all-time low. We can solve this by encouraging people to look at the positive things about their bodies instead of the negative. Uh, teenagers have always been worried about how other people look at them. I think it's part of growing up. I think it's part of uh, who we become as adults. We all worried about what the outside world sees and unfortunately they don't see the inside of us. So self-image is huge at this level. Uh, part of it is because our brains aren't completely formed. Part of it we're, just, we're still figuring out who we are and where we're going. So self-image is a big deal. The University of Salford in the UK did a study last year on social media's effects on self-esteem and anxiety. And it reported that 50% of their 298 participants said that their use of social networks like Facebook and Twitter makes their lives worse. I think it's a huge problem. Um, I see, like, I feel like there's a lot of pressure, especially on girls, um, to look and be a certain way, and so I think it's it's just a huge issue starting in middle school. Um, but I think it affects guys too. Like, I have a lot of guy friends who don't feel like they can talk about their self-image um, because it's like not a guy issue. So I think it's a problem across the board.
This is not just a girl only issue. Although it may be more common to see or hear about women feeling like they have to look a certain way to fit in or be noticed, boys also struggle with expectations of having bigger muscles and being physically fit in general. Could pretend to like pop some pink balls. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> 38% of boys in middle schools and high schools reported using protein supplements, and nearly 6% admitted to experimenting with steroids. This problem can lead to numerous harmful effects, such as eating disorders, depression, and even self-harm. Yeah, I think it could be anything from like as dramatic as like an eating disorder or drug abuse as a way to escape that stuff. Um, but even like the more minor stuff, like not having confidence in yourself, not being able to stand up for yourself, not feeling comfortable in your own skin. Some say that social media has nothing to do with how people actually feel about themselves. Contrary to that statement, a whopping 74.6% of females surveyed in grades 9 through 12 at Belle Plaine High School said that social media actually did make them feel like they had to look a certain way. After evaluating my research that I've done throughout this entire process, I found that the most realistic opportunity for me to fix this problem is to first focus on my own school. Although kids look to magazines, television, and social media for what they think they should look like, I want to focus at what they look at first and every single day, the mirror. Before someone goes out of their house for the day, chances are they take a look in the mirror. Um, first, I would say what I see in the mirror is a lot of like my roles, so a mother, a wife, a sister, a daughter, all those important roles that I, I do on a daily basis. Um, and you know, makes you feel, it makes me feel good, I guess, to have all those special roles. Um, I think everybody has, um, you look in the mirror and you kind of say like, oh, you know, I look tired today, or now I have a zit, or it's the middle of winter and you're not tan, or whatever it might be. Um, so, and then just try not to dwell on that. So just knowing that, every, like I said, everyone's unique, you can't change who you are, and you just gotta either be happy with that and adopt that and live, you know, that, down that road, otherwise always constantly wanting to change yourself and then it's never going to happen. It can be a sad, yeah. you know, dark road, so, right. yeah. Some see what they hate about themselves, their hair, their pimples, what their bodies look like, or anything they don't like about themselves. I want them to see their amazing and unique characteristics that they all have. A few easy solutions to this problem could be something as simple as telling somebody that they look nice today. Or something more involved, like posting reinforcing messages on the mirrors of the school bathrooms. Although this not might change things overnight, I'm hoping that over time people in our school will start to look at themselves in a better way. If we can live like this and take it out into the real world, I believe that we can make a big change. I'm worried about the newest apps, I'm worried about the Snapchats, I'm worried about the Facebooks just because everybody puts their best thing forward. Uh, we don't always get to see that everybody has a bad day, everybody has a bad hairdo, everybody has a day where they just feel bad because on Facebook and on Snapchat you only see the best of everything. So to me it would be to maybe shut off technology once in a while, uh, live in the moment, forget about what everybody else is doing, do what makes you feel good, um, maybe listen to adults once in a while and say hey when they say you're good enough you are and believe it.